This is Dig Out Those Dies, Episode 2. Um, today I thought about um, getting the most use out of your dies. So trying to look at your dies and using them maybe in a variety of different ways. So I am going to start with the Essentials uh, Thinlets. This is from Country Craft Creations, and it comes with, uh, what is it, 13, 15 dies. And so I was looking at these, and I thought, you know what, i got to use these for something more than just a little booklet. So it came with these two pieces. So this is for the booklet on the outside, and then you mat it with this. So I got to thinking about how I could use these two differently. So I cut this one out. Let's see. Um, I hope you can see this. Yeah, uh, I cut this one out and I thought, you know, I could fold this and make a pocket. So if you put it on your scoreboard and score it, I'm not going to do that. I'll just kind of fold it. You could use this as a pocket. Any ticket uh, or any tag die would work and then just glue the sides and then stick your little pieces of ephemera in there. So that's one way you could use it. Um, another way is you could actually cut this end off. And you know how people um, use this like on the side of a picture. So let me see. Do I have a picture? Hmm, probably not. So let's say you're matting something. Uh, let's say you have this in your album and you're decorating it, and this is for a picture. Sometimes people like to put things off the side as decoration, so you could do that. You could actually cut this off and maybe do two of them and make it a, um, well, let me just do that right now. Let me show you. This is the handy dandy, we are memory keepers all in one. So let's say, you cut that off, and again, you could put that on the side of a picture, just the one by itself. If you have two, is this one I just cut? No. If you have two here, you could put this on the edge of a page, and this is a little bit, oh, this might be the perfect size, and glue those two together. like so, and then instead of a tab, this could be like the tab to move the page over from one side to the other. So that's an idea of how you could use that differently. Um, this comes with a die that has holes in it where you're supposed to combine, this is the actual book pages. So I ran just one, and there is an indentation where you're supposed to score. So if you score that in your scoreboard, and you fold it again. I'm not doing this perfectly because of time, but if you fold this back, you then could use this as a waterfall, whether it's this way or this way. Now, when you open it, you would obviously have to have paper here to cover it, but that would be another way of using uh, this die. So let me show you. If you haven't seen my other video, I just recently made a book, and here is that die as a waterfall. Okay, so I thought that was a good way of using it. So waterfall, pocket, um, tab on the edge of a page, and like as a decorative piece underneath a picture of some sort. So that's what I decided to do with that dies set. So I started looking through my other dies and saying, okay, how can I look at these with different eyes and see what else I could use them for? So I get the most use out of them. So the next one I grabbed, let me get this out of the way. The next die I grabbed was this winter Christmas deer. And I punched it out, and I got to think and look at that antler part. A lot of times when I am decorating, I use butterflies. So, and I like to do like pearls or bling and like 
put like a curly Q <laughs> um, behind it, like it's been in flight. So I got to thinking I could use that for the in flight look. So let me get my scissors and cut this off and see if it works. I'm just going to snip that off. Go around here. Trim that off. So as I'm looking at that, I'm like, oh, that's a swirl. That's a swish. So if I'm decorating, I could have a butterfly. But you can't see that. Let me get a dark piece of paper. I could have my butterfly, and then I could put this like so, and it looks like it is flying off into Never Never Land. So I thought that was cute. So that's how I thought I could use the deer differently. Um, you could also use certain trees if that works. And I dug out one, not two more dies actually. Let me move these off to the side. Um, I have this leaf die, and this could actually work for a couple of different things. So I ran it through my die cut machine, and I made two of them, like so. And I thought, you know, that could be angel wings if I wanted them to be. So if you have these paper dolls from Tim Holtz and you want to make it her into, look, look at that, so that's cute. I mean, it doesn't match the way the colors I have, but I thought that would work. Um, I also thought, you know, this could make a butterfly too. So I have this die. Uh, and it's got like a frame, and then it has this middle piece to uh, cut out like a saying and put in here. So I cut out one of those, and I cut out four of these like so. And you could, it could be a flower. You could combine, a, it would be a big flower, but you could combine a bunch and make it a flower. You could make it a butterfly. And again, it's kind of a big one, but you might have smaller leaf dies that you could use. So my challenge for you is to dig out those dies and to look at them in a different way and say, okay, how could I use this differently than the purpose it was made for? And you might be surprised at the things that you can come up with just by using what you already have. And what else did I say I did? Um, and the waterfall, and a pocket. So go ahead and dig through those dies, and stay tuned. There will be an episode three. I'm trying to do them once a week, and I want them to stay short. So I uh, hope you're enjoying this. If you have any suggestions or um, ideas on what you want me to focus on, go ahead and put that in the box down below and type that in the comments, and I'll try and address it. All right, everybody, have a great day.